Neosapien is my name, and I was born to teach. I even wrote this poem on my belt. How's that for a figure of speech? I'm an intellectual fisherman fishing for thoughts. Sick enough to tell Venus, Serena, and Judge Judy that the ball is in their court. Yo, I don't know. I have been born great, and that's a fact. I even mummified Santa Claus just to prove that I'm gifted with rap. No. Yo, oh. Oh. Had to get your attention some. <laughs> I mean, I know that food and students are a bad combination, particularly if there are going to be a lot of speeches, so that's just my way of introducing myself. I'm thoroughly humbled to be among you guys. Um, top achievers, please give yourselves a round of applause. Before I begin my performance, um, I'm, I can be, in this particular context, I can be regarded as the filling in the sandwich um, because apparently um, students have got quite a minuscule attention span, particularly where there's a lot of speeches. So I'm here to invigorate your minds before you hear other professors speak. Yes? Thank you. So do take note, particularly since you're studying, that poetry and performance is an integral part of any event. So if you are... Uh, thank you. I'm glad you noticed. So I do expect to be commissioned by you guys whenever you have. <laughs> yes, Marcus. Um, excuse me, miss. May I buy you a drink? Heineken. I'm Donald and I beheld you from a distance and I've been told that beauty is in the eye of the beer holder. So... <laughs> May I buy you a drink? Hold on, mister. Just because I'm black doesn't mean I'm labelled to be bought drinks by strangers. She hunted. Why me? Because I wish to be refreshed by your juicy lips and give you a kiss of a size one. Savannah. Savannah. Be the Captain Morgan of your three ships while we sail past two oceans past the Niederberg Mountains from Cape to Rio, so may I buy you a drink? Slow down, brew. See, I subscribe to the thought that relationships have to be slow. Brewed to be extra mature. Oh. <laughs> Taken from the finest hops with unrivaled dedication, she said. Okay, that's fine. That's why I say we should sit back, relax, and unwind. I will bring you a bouquet of rosés. <laughs> See, at this she smiled as I gave her a series of leapy, fruity compliments. And after taking shots, I mean, after taking shots at each other the whole night, we were punch drunk with love and indulging in alcoholic <laughs> chemistry. See, I've just bought myself a new ride, and I would love to take you for a Smirnoff spin so we can brainstorm on how to black out. <laughs> so what do you say? May I, may I buy you a drink? Mm -mm, I've dealt with hunters like you before. <laughs> who think they're gold and are very dry and extreme in their approach. Okay, that's, that's fine, but see, neither of them have the same approach to thirst like I do. You see, I bring a Fanta. Stick. Twist to the purchase of drinks because I do it sprightly. See, I'm the type of coke, I mean, I'm the type of bloke who opens up some happiness for fun because I obey my thirst. So what do you say? <laughs> May I buy you a drink? Yes, I've been told that beauty is in the eye of the beer holder. Yes, she said. So I bought her a still water. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> Bless you with one more item. Um, this is actually one of my favorite poems. Um, and it's very apropos here. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, I love my conversations. And the other day I had one with Tiger Woods and I asked him, Sir, what is your philosophy? He smiled and said, The grass is always greener on the other side. <laughs> so I went and did lawn mowing in attempts to apply his philosophy. And he laughed at me and said, Son, don't take it literally, but there are many fish in the sea. Exactly. Yes, I love my conversation. So the other day I had one with Tabo Mbeki and I asked him, what is your opinion of xenophobia? So the old man then turned to the horizon and said, I am an African. <laughs> I owe my being to the valleys, the hills, the mountains, the glades and the ever-changing seasons that define the face of our native land. My body has frozen in our latter-day frost and thawed in the warmth of our sunshine. Yes, I am. 
an African. I love my conversation. So the other day I had one with Bantu Stephen Biko and I asked him, what is your favorite color? So he smiled and said, black. Consciousness is an attitude of the mind and a way of living. The most positive call to emanate from a black world for a long time. Its essence is the realization by the man of the need to rally together around the cause of the oppression, the blackness of their skin. To work as a group to rid themselves of the shackles that bind them to virtual servitude. Yes, I love my conversation. So the other day I had one with Pythagoras. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> Trying to trick the old man, I stood at an angle. <laughs> and I asked him, at what angle is the emotion of love? Yeah. Confidently smiling, he smiled and said, son, love is at the right angle of the heart and mind. Therefore, the conscious fear of getting hurt is the hypotenuse. So the symbol of love is a right-angled triangle whose three corners represent yourself, your companion, and God. Yes, I do love my conversation. So the other day I had one with William Shakespeare and I asked him, how can I identify true love? So the old veteran smiled and said, love is not love which alters when its alteration finds or bends with the remover to remove. Oh no, it is an ever-fixed mark that stands on tempests and is never shaken. Yes, I love my conversation. So the other day I had one with Jacob Zuma. It was election time at the time. <laughs> so I asked him, what is your opinion of Christianity? He smiled and said, if you don't vote for it, see, you will not go to heaven. <laughs> so with that said, I then moved on down the stables and had a chat with Julius Malema and asked him, <laughs> the what is your opinion of gender equality? He smiled and said, Hermaphro, what? <laughs> there is no such thing in my culture. <laughs> yes, I love my conversations. So the other day I had one with Martin Luther King Jr. And I asked him, what is your opinion of balance and ecosystems and things? The old man then smiled and said, righteousness, though temporarily defeated, stands stronger than evil triumphant. So the other day I had one with Jesus Christ and asked him, what is your opinion of conversations? So my Savior smiled and said, every idle word that man shall speak, they shall account thereof in the day of judgment. You see, I love my conversations because they connect souls to an ever-moving train of thought. So others think before they converse. Others do the converse and converse without thinking. So while you think about this conversation, let us converse about thoughts that were never used in a conversation. Yes. I do love my conversations and, wait, wait, earlier on I had a conversation with our esteemed guests, <laughs> one of which just spoke recently, and I asked him, what do you do when you're faced with a tough decision? The young lad smiled and said, just like Jesus Christ's crucifixion, a man reaches his crossroads and makes a decision that makes all the difference. Yes, I do love my conversations and I've just had the most indulgent one with you. Thank you.